All right. Every so often, about uh, w- once every two weeks or so, it's uh, time for us to feature uh, another Santa Clarita Valley face as part of our uh, ongoing series called the Santa Clarita Valley Unsung Hero. It's sponsored by Mercedes Benz of Valencia, and it's an opportunity for us to get to know some people who, you know, maybe we know them here at the hometown station because we, you know, we try and act interact in the community quite a bit. But you may not be aware of these people and what they do and how they help serve our community in the variety of capacities that they do. We have all these features on our website at hometownstation.com and uh, we also have the video of them on y- on our YouTube channel as well uh, at uh, KHDSAM 1220. So joining me in studio this week to talk about herself, we always kind of like to put them on the hot seat, make them talk about themselves a little bit, is Tamara Gurney. She has uh, built a thriving business over the past dozen years as founding president and CEO of Mission Valley Bank. They are a $250 million community-based business bank headquartered in Sun Valley with offices here in Santa Clarita. Tamara has won numerous accolades and earned respect from her peers in trade groups like the SVU Chamber of Commerce and the Valley Industry Association, VIA. California Independent, Independent Bankers also chose her as president of its board for 2013. At the same time, Tamara has leveraged her three-plus decades of banking experience and the considerable power of a banking institution to do good things for others in her community, which include the San Fernando and the Santa Clarita Valleys. That is why Tamara is KHTS's latest Santa Clarita unsung hero brought to you by Mercedes-Benz of Valencia. Tamara, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Ha- happy to do it, and we appreciate you uh, you come in he- you coming in here and, and uh, talking about yourself. It's something that people I know really don't like to do, but we appreciate it when you guys when you guys do it. In addition to your, your daily duties as the CEO of Michigan Valley Bank, I'm looking at the organizations that you've been involved with. You've served as a member of the board of directors for the SCV EDC, the executive board there, that's the Ed- Economic Development Corporation, uh, the Boys and Girls Club of Santa Clarita Valley, COC Foundation. A lot of these organizations are uh, ones that people are aware of, but I don't think they really understand, you know, the commitment that each one can uh, can require and the, you know the time management skills that you must have to be able to go through all this has got to be stunning Tamara how do you do it you know that's a really good question <laughs> uh, I, I probably need to go back and ask myself that because when you look at it or I hear that uh, from you or I look at it on paper and I think oh my goodness <laughs> uh, what am I doing and how am I doing this but kind of like being a single mom you know I look back and you, how did I raise those kids and everybody came out okay you just somehow make it happen so well, well talk to me about that you're you're uh, you've been in uh, banking for for 30 years talk to me about where you got started you uh, you came from the or you came to the Santa Clarita Valley how and when well uh, we op- I opened my my bank in 2001 headquartered in Sun Valley as you said and we came out to Santa Clarita in 2004 I had a a great deal of knowledge of this community, having lived here as a younger adult uh, many years ago out near Sand Canyon with my family, Uh, but also in my previous bank had branches out here, so I was familiar with the area, and there was an opportunity at that time. Um, Many of my staff live here, so it also was a good opportunity to to have people work close to home. So we uh, started the first branch in 04 and opened in Centerpoint uh, about four years ago. So, uh, yeah, and so you've been in this valley for almost almost 10 years now. Correct. That's great. And and how did you get involved in the banking industry? When did you realize that this was something that you wanted to do professionally and, and do for the rest of your life? <laughs> well, Those I might make two different the, questions. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, it wasn't something that I came to as a, as a career aspiration, uh, though, you know, I wouldn't discourage others from that. It was many years ago uh, being a single parent as I mentioned earlier I needed a job I had two boys that I needed to feed and and the entry-level positions not having any uh, career experience uh, were in clerical positions most of them interestingly enough in banking so I went to work at Bank of America downtown in their headquarters office uh, and uh, from there I, I worked for for community banks was I was in what was called North America division so I worked with community banks and ultimately um, found my way to one that was headquartered in uh, San Fernando Valley. And so it was initially a job, and I stuck with it. I learned a lot. It was it was a great education uh, for many years for me. So it didn't. Uh, it became my career sort of just by accident, I guess. Well, that's <laughs> a lot of times that's how the best things in your life happen. Is mm-hmm. something that you didn't really intend for it to happen, and then you go and look, and you know. 
30 years later or whatever it is, you end up looking at the body work and say, hey, we've, you know, right. we've, really, we've really put something together here. We're in studio right now with Tamara Gurney here on your hometown station, AM 1220 KHS. She's been selected for the Santa Clarita Unsung Hero, sponsored by Mercedes-Benz of Valencia. And, uh, you know, Tamara, as you w- we're talking about Mission Valley, and uh, you, you talked a little bit about, you know, where you got started and, and mm-hmm. when you came out to, uh, to here to Santa Clarita. Uh, the bank is a quarter of a billion dollars strong mm-hmm. now. Serves over three thousand plus business clients, and uh, y- you do that here in Santa Clarita and, and at your other locations. Talk to me about, um, y- you know, w- when you hear from your customers that come in, what, why do they come to Mission Valley? And I'll, I'll, uh, speaking specifically about kind of the community aspect of it, mm-hmm. look, people are looking for a community bank. What does that mean? What does that mean to you? And 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 how does y- that level of service differentiate? From some, you know, big box bank that comes into town and, and sets up shop. What, what, what are the differences there that you see? I think it's it's that hometown feeling. You know, you're we're we're neighbors, we're friends. Uh, the the clients that we have in all of our locations are people that uh, we we either have known for a long time. It's why they joined us, or we've gotten to know them. And that's part of what the relationship banking is. It's it's not transactional. You're not a number. When you walk in the door, everyone knows you by name. They stand up and greet you. They know, you know, what's happening in your kids' lives with your family, and they remember. And they, we have those conversations. And so uh, I think it's that feeling of connectedness or y- that there's a true relationship and a true sense of caring about the success of your business. And we kind of go, we go the extra mile, or we try to, uh, to do that to help our, our clients. And it would seem to me, as an outside observer, looking at the stuff that you've done and just kind of reading through the list of it, that – uh, a lot of what you do in your work, as far as it being community oriented, community centered, really translates well into the work that you do with the nonprofit groups as well, which are obviously uh, so many of them are community centered and community minded. So, um, can you talk to me about y- the the nonprofits that you work with? It seems like, as I look down the list of them, there, you know, a lot of them have to do with economics, with education, with kids, uh, and with even the uh, the opera. What do they all What do they all mean to you? And 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 what uh, what is it about the different nonprofits that you've worked with that drew you to them? Well, with Southland Opera, that is, is somewhat unique. I've been involved for many, many years. That's, uh, that is an outreach uh, to, to younger children, usually in elementary school or maybe junior high, special needs kids, autism, where they're taught um, through music, they're taught to learn better. And, and uh, the, the mo- nonprofits that I've been involved with uh, here in this valley in the last 10 years, you, as you mentioned, education is a is a cornerstone of that. Uh, healthcare been involved with the hospitals, uh, children because those are our future <laughs> employees. And and essentially, I just think as being a a community bank, where we're just like every small business on the corner, and it's it's just good practice and it's our responsibility to be a good corporate citizen. So while many of the large money center banks have have big budgets where they can write a big check to a charity or or give funds we tend to we do give funds uh, we are limited in that capacity but we can give ourselves and so as people who live in the community and work in the community we also volunteer our time and uh, i got involved for example with the college which i think you know this valley has such a jewel in coc there i don't know every community college across the country, but I would be prepared to stand up and say I don't think there's one that can match it. And so that is a huge resource for this valley. And what I really appreciate here is how there are so many nonprofits, which means that this community really wants to reach out and help its constituents and its residents in in every way that they can. But the collaboration that's come about, in particular, I think, in this economic downturn, because it's been difficult to raise, you know, donations are, are have cut back significantly, both from the corporate world and personally. And so we're seeing a lot of the smaller nonprofits have struggled, but what they've done, which is, is great, is they've come together and began to collaborate with one another. And, and you see so many times where, for example, the college has a great I'm on the the scholarship committee, and we are focusing in on veterans because there will be so many returning. And likewise, you look over and you see Homes for Heroes that's affiliated with Habitat for Humanity. Well, great, we want to help get them into a home, but they need to keep the home, so they need to transition into society and have a a skill where they can earn an income to to protect that investment and, and grow in the community. So if you collaborate and work together to raise funds, we're not all asking for money every you know week on something different, we're really kind of sharing that. 
And I've, I haven't seen that anywhere. This is really yeah. a unique community for that. And each of those organizations and the people that they help to serve become stronger as a result of that collaboration. Absolutely. It's huge. Uh, the Boys and Girls Club fundraiser this past weekend, the auction, did you have a chance to attend? Unfortunately, uh. no. We had a, a commitment with one of our coworkers um, that we couldn't, I couldn't attend, but we did support it. And so what other projects are you working on with local nonprofits right now? Do you have anything coming up that you're working on or anything, any projects that you want to talk about? Um, mo mostly, uh, we're focusing in on the on the scholarship program. Sure. Uh, I know there's a big push right now at the at the college for the uh, the capital raise for the culinary arts, which is is amazing. That program will be amazing. But scholarships really, uh, when I went recently to a, a a gathering where we handed out the scholarships for this past year to uh, all the recipients, it really made it come to life for me to see the faces, in particular for the one that I funded personally. To see, uh, you know, a young woman returning from uh, Iraq, Af Afghanistan, and has four young children, and and is trying to get her her education and help support her family, uh, and just to talk to them and, and hear their stories, just is heartwarming to know that that small little gift that you've given to them is really going to make a huge difference. Got to be one of the most fulfilling parts of what you do, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, Tamara, we appreciate you coming in and uh, and talking, and uh, wish you continued success not only with the business and but also with the personal and with the nonprofit all that good stuff and we thank you for your service here in the Santa Clarita Valley what you do and with the platform you have in which to do it is uh, is huge and it's uh, gratifying to see people do it uh, and use it for good so we appreciate yeah. it Tamara. well I, th I appreciate that and thank you and it's really a whole team effort you know everyone in the bank really chips in and any way they can and it, there's always going to be a group of Mission Valley folks at all of the big fundraisers and doing what they can so it's a team effort Tamara Gurney Mission Valley Bank are Santa Clarita Unsung Hero, sponsored by Mercedes-Benz of Valencia. Tamara, thank you. Thank you. Thanks for doing it.